Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we have a new video on system design crash course. Today we will talk about the load balancer. In the previous video, we talked about the vertical scaling and the horizontal scaling, and we said that we um, the, the the vertical scaling, which is uh, scale up, is to add in more uh, resources, and the horizontal scaling, which is a scale out, is to add more machines. And we said that we will use horizontal scaling. So basically, we use we will try to use more machines let me just put all the machines align them together so basically we'll try to use more machines as we go can i delete this yep. delete all of the and no no need and um Let's assume that we have a four machines. Oh, and right now, since we have four machines right now, and we have uh, let's say four clients, and each client should be directed to with with one machine. Let me can I can I make the the client quite smaller? I guess I can like uh huh yeah like that so we have a space for fourth one mm hmm mm hmm and let's put the fourth here can. Okay, so we said that each um, each user will try to connect with the machine. Uh, I just want to make this like that, and I want to make it. Oh. And the thing that we should ask ourselves: How physically the client or how the user know which machine should be connected to, or when one of the machines. Is f it has been fold. It's been like failed or like uh, it's out. What should we do? Like how this machine know this is failed? So it just con uh, cut this connection. I'll try to connect with the new web server. Uh, this is what load balancer come into place. So you can think about the load balancer. I just uh, can I add a new one? Mm. No. Uh, load balancer. Uh, one minute. So basically. Load balancer, it's, it will be in between. A load balancer evenly distribute incoming traffic among web services that are defined in a load balancer set. So, uh, give me a minute. Um. So, basically, what happens in, in, in real world that all these clients connect with the load balancer, okay, all of them, And the load balancer will distribute all the incoming requests among all servers. Yeah. So basically, a load balancer is a crucial component in modern uh, uh, computer networking and and web hosting that helps distribute incoming networks. Like we have all these networks uh, uh, requests, it helps to distribute them evenly between web servers. 
uh, traffic or like we have also maybe application request also it helps to 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 uh, distribute them across multiple servers or resources the primary goal of a load balancer is to ensure that no single server becomes overwhelmed with traffic which can lead to improved system uh, uh, reliability availability and scalability and the thing that the load balancer will 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 benefit you first we have the traffic distribution the, the load balancer evenly distribute incoming network traffic of or or request among multiple servers or resources this ensures that no single server is over overwhelmed and that the workload is uh, effectively distributed the second thing we have high availability like load balancers can detect when a server become unresponsive, uh, uh, unresponsive, unresponsive, or or or, or uh, experience a failure, in such cases the load balancer automatically will redirect the traffic to healthy server. So basically, if this server went down, if this server went down, the load balancer would directly know this server went down and try to direct all the incoming requests to this instead. Okay. Um, we have the scalability. Uh, a load balancer supports horizontal scaling by allowing new servers to be added. So basically, if if I had more uh, more uh, more users here, let's say I have more users, we can add more servers if we want, and the load balancer could serve them with no problem. Like they send the request to the load balancer, and also here, and from there, the load balancer will try to send the request to the to these web servers, for example. Uh, let's add one more because if uh, two, two will be quite. Uh, uh, we have the um, um, the session presence. Like uh, some load balancers can maintain a session uh, resistance, uh, uh, also known as a sticky sessions. This means that uh, a user requests uh, are consistently directed to the same server to ensure the uh, seamless user experience when working with a stateful uh, application however this one is stateless so we don't we don't use this here we have the healthy checks like a load balancer uh, uh, predictly check uh, the health and the available of uh, the backend uh, servers by sending health props uh, or requests if a server fails the health checks it is temporarily removed from the pool until it becomes healthy again also we have it works with uh, SSL uh, termination a load balancer can handle secure socket layer uh, SSL encryption and decryption of loading this uh, resource in, uh, in, in intensive task from uh, the backend servers this improves overall system performance we have the content based uh, routing like advanced load balancer can make routing uh, decisions based on uh, content such as URL path or HTTP headers this allows for uh, a more uh, granular traffic routing and applications specific load balancer also we have um, the, the, the other thing that we want to talk about the, the right now the users when they try to connect they don't connect with web servers they connect with the load balancer so basically they have the API of um, of the let me let me just make this here so they have the AP, the IP address of the load balancer, but they don't have any IP address of the web server. And right now, our 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 web servers, they are they are like some sort of 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 uh, away from the uh, away from from the users, and this give it also more, it's 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 more secure. So. Uh, this is it's in conclusion and this is what it's load balancer and what we use it and um like um and yeah um that's it that's it for today's video and i hope you like my content if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will never miss a video and see you in future problems